Hey friends, Pastor Todd here at Epworth United Methodist Church. I'm excited that we're going to begin to phase in our in-person worship services beginning this Sunday, September 6th. Uh, We'll have some limitations on how many people can come to our worship service this Sunday and next Sunday, and so you'll need to reserve your worship attendance on our church website or by calling the church office. Uh, And of course, we'll continue to offer online worship that is Concurrent, It'll be the same experience we share here in person, online, on Facebook, YouTube, and our church website. I do want to let you know about some uh, changes that you'll see if you choose to come to an in-person worship service. Uh, We're just going to have one entrance open to the building. That way we can better manage uh, who comes in and goes and and know where and how to clean. Um, We'll do that at the front entrance, at the top of the hill, under the awning, and the narthex entrance. Uh, And when you come in that entrance, you'll see a a station. That station's got face masks and face shields, hand sanitizer, and it's also going to have a temperature check. And so we'll be checking everyone's temperature and make sure that we're all under 100 degrees uh, when you come into the building here to worship with us. Uh, It is the expectation that every person who comes to worship uh, wear some kind of, of face covering as well. We'll have some changes to our liturgy. Uh, We won't be passing the peace using handshakes and hugs and all the rest, but we'll do that socially distanced. Uh, We're not going to pass out bulletins to you as you come in, but we'll have those located in the pews. Uh, We've got pews marked off so that we'll be using every fourth pew with the uh, sides staggered. Uh, Also, uh, we won't pass the offering plate. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to have an offering. Uh, But we've got an offering station set up in the narthex, so you can leave your gifts uh, to God in uh, that station, either on your way in or your way out of worship. Uh, Also, we're going to have some changes to the way we uh, do congregational singing. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, experts tell us that congregational singing is one of the the most risky parts of returning to in-person worship. And so Eric's going to be giving us some very specific instructions on how to do that. We'll experience some more solos, some hymn readings, and, and other creative ways of, of singing together. Uh, we won't uh, uh, miss the, the powerful hymnody of the church, but we will be doing it in some, some different and creative ways. Now, friends, I, I know that, that some of this uh, may be disappointing. Um, you won't uh, be able to sit in your spot. Um, we won't uh, sing hymns the way we, we might be accustomed to. There's a lot of disruption, and and it's okay to be sad about that. Uh, But friends, I want to encourage you to to see this as something of an opportunity. Often it's in times of disruption that God uses uh, that disruptive element to to grow us in new ways. In in fact, our scripture that we're going to be studying is the story of the Passover. And in the instructions of the Passover story, God, uh, through the details that God gives them, on what to do really encourages the the Hebrew people to be nimble. Uh, And God uses that nimbleness, that ability to to get up and move quickly uh, as as an advantage, as a sort of preparation for the journey ahead. And and friends, I think this is the season that we are in in the church, a season where we need to remain nimble and and able to to move quickly and adapt to uh, this strange new world that we're in we're all figuring out how to do church together and this is a a new step for us returning to in-person worship Uh, so i hope that you'll you'll join me in a a nimble uh, ready to to roll with the punches uh, kind of experience as, as we seek to worship god together friends i hope to see you on sunday whether that's online or in person here at the church